Getting back to the action, our next fight features a fighter joining us from Comanche, Iowa. Please welcome Ryan Rage. Ryan the Rage, Rage. Getting ready to make his way into the cage. He's a longtime fighter, but hasn't been in the cage in over a year uh, due to a really terrible accident, and he wasn't even sure if he would be able to fight again. So he's happy to be fighting here tonight, and he's done it to prove himself now more than ever. Uh, but he's a very strong guy. Let's hear it from the Rage. Fighting style is jujitsu and Muay Thai. Uh, I feel comfortable in the ring anywhere we go. Uh, I don't care if we keep it standing, if we keep it to the ground. What separates me from every other fighter? Uh, a couple things. I've been doing uh, powerlifting uh, since I was about 12 years old. So uh, that's how I got into the sport, just being strong, and then I learned the technique along with it. Also, uh, family and friends will also know uh, a few months back, I was in a serious injury at work, and I didn't really know if I was going to be able to come back from that and compete again and I had some good team members behind me and uh, my friend Tim Selvia uh, let me help him train for his last couple fights and got me back in shape, got my butt in gear and got my head right and uh, happy to be back in the cage and really to really ready to show um, what I've trained hard for, uh, fought back up this hill and I'm ready to go. To my fans and supporters, thank you very much for being here. Um, it's been a wild ride, it's been a long journey and uh, thank you all for being here. To my opponent, uh, I've been training hard, so I hope you've been training hard too. Hope you're ready to rock and roll. There you have Ryan the Rage Grage. He's very experienced and he trains in his corner uh, is Tim Sylvia, a former UFC champ. Uh, so you know he's getting very well rounded training and uh, very determined fighter here uh, one thing that I didn't know about him he was a competitive power lifter since he was 12 I mean to me you know at 12 years old what were you doing now you know what what get things hey I'm gonna do power lifting well that's Ryan right there for you shows you the kind of guy he is so you know if you've been doing that since 12 you, you gotta have a lot of strength so and he looks in great shape you know especially after being in, in that terrible accident at his workplace uh, you know and doubting whether he'd ever make it to the cage again this means a lot to him Tim Sylvia, who's usually in this corner. Mike Vasquez there. Well decorated camp back there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ryan makes his way into the cage. And his opponent joining us from Burlington, Iowa, please welcome Jeremiah Nelson. Jeremiah the Crazy Train Nelson. This is first time here fighting for cage aggression for extreme cage rentals so we'll see what he brings to the table he's coming out of burlington iowa out of the american pit fighters crew and let's hear it from the fighter himself i am jeremiah crazy train nelson i'm a freestyle fighter and love to stand and bang with my opponent i train with the american pit fighters out of burlington iowa four days a week we have powerful intense training consisting of one hour of cardio and two hours of nothing but all out war. What separates me from every other fighter is I go 110% until the end of the fight. I don't quit. 
I've been from the very bottoms of the earth and now I'm working my way back up. To my fans and supporters, I want to say thank you for being there through, all the, through everything I've been through. To my opponent, I hope you're ready for a three round ride on the crazy train because I'm taking you off the rails. There you have it, the crazy train. You know, this, uh, he normally fights at 185, but he jumped on the opportunity to be on this show. Uh, the American Pit Fighter member, you know, he, he comes out of a tough camp there in Burlington. Like we said, these guys really work hard o over there. Uh, and uh, he's actually uh, he's actually coming out with a, with a talented bunch of guys there. And we're glad to, to see the American Pit Fighters here being part of this this promotion today. Um, he, this guy's looking to upset the hometown favorite. You know, he comes in there with a belt there. So he's definitely got some confidence to him. He, he likes to throw knees here, he says, and uh, to keep it standing. He's facing a tough opponent. He, again, looking to get that upset. And uh, we are happy to see the American Pit Fighters. Not a lot of people have had a chance to see them here in the Quad Cities, so it's a, a great opportunity for us to watch what they have over there. And also a good opportunity for these guys to come in here and you know expand on their fan base. And there they are, both fighters in the cage, and we'll take it to the center of the cage for the official introduction and tell of the tape with Jason Vargas. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout marks the start of our main card and is scheduled for three rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, and weighed in at 202 pounds. He trains with Militage Fighting Systems and is sponsored by Team Weber Powerlifting and Economy Coding. Joining us from Comanche, Iowa, Ryan. The Rage Crab! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet three inches tall and weighed in at 202 pounds. He trains with American Pit Fighters and is sponsored by J&J Contracting. Joining us from Burlington, Iowa, The Crazy Train, Jeremiah! Black trunks. Ryan. Go. Ryan right away goes for that clinch and knees to the body. Ryan sporting the red rage wear gear. Ryan pre pressing Nelson against the cage there. We see Nelson throw a knee and goes down. Ryan. Trying to get a Darce choke here. The train slowly gets up. Ryan's still trying to lock a choke from the stand-up position. Yeah, the crazy train can't seem to be get out of there. And that's got a, you, you, you're using up a lot of energy when you're, you got a big guy like that on top of you. He finally gets out of that choke. He's up against the cage. Oh. Nice knee by oh. Ryan. Nelson answers back. Nelson now. Picking his punches. Oh, oh and he gets wow. dropped by a, right, by that's Ryan. It, that's it, he's out. Wow. What power, I, and that wasn't, that, that was kind of like a forearm there, it wasn't a solid. A solid hit there, and the train goes down. And the rage, Ryan, the rage all over him. As soon as Nelson, Jer Jeremiah Nelson goes to the ground from that hit, he just 
is all over him and delivered devastating punches to the train's head. And he could have taken some extra punches, unnecessary punches there at the end, but um, yeah, you couldn't really tell if he was completely knocked out. His face was to the mat. We still have Nelson on the ground here. Doctor's in there and Ryan goes up to his opponent, make sure he's okay, and Jeremiah makes up. it to, to his feet on his own. What a way to come back for Ryan the Rage Grage. And we go to the center of the cage. And we go to the official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Mike Smith has called the stop to this contest at 1 minute 18 seconds in round one. Declaring your winner by knockout, Ryan the Rage Grage. Nice win for a man who didn't think he'd be able to fight again. I think we're gonna see more of this guy, a lot more. What power. It looks like uh, Ryan's gonna say something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Ryan the Range Grange. Ryan, I know you got a few words for, uh, for us to hear. Go ahead and share with them. All right, um, for those of you that uh, heard my intro, uh, when I talk about a personal injury, I was not joking when I said I nearly died. I uh, had an explosion. Uh, where I work, 250 degree liquid, over 15% of my body, life flight in Iowa City. Um, I'm six months off of that. If you give me six more, I'm gonna take it to the big show. A true warrior, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Grange. Thanks a lot, Ryan.